Hi, I'm Simon Wisto. I'm the co-founder and uh, VP of strategic initiatives at Fastly, which is an edge computing and security company. Um, so we do, uh, we run content for some of the world's largest sites, um, everything from streaming media to e-commerce sites to uh, newspapers and governments and, and games companies and everybody in between. And one of the trends we see, because we have a huge network that spans the globe and we see traffic from a lot of different uh, industries and a lot of different sites, we have seen this rise of AI bot traffic, uh, whether that is crawlers, that whether that's uh, what's called RAG, retrieval augmented generation, um, whether these crawlers coming in and even some of the larger sites are getting crushed by the traffic at the moment. So, um, we are looking at this trend and I, you know, AI is not going away. It is seeping into more and more parts of everybody's life. Um, it's the big tech topic at the moment. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's worried about it. Everybody, nobody really knows where everything's going, but I, I think it's safe to say it's not going anywhere. It's probably going to get it bigger in the future. So what we're trying to do for our customers is kind of twofold. Uh, we already have a security product that kind of protects against bots and other kind of attacks. And so we have launched a whole suite of features that are to help our customers have that relationship with AI bots because they quite often, they don't want to block them completely. Um, a bit like they don't want to block search engine crawlers like the Google bot and things like that, but, you know, just maybe protect them from getting hammered so much that the site doesn't go down. Um, and we want to make that available, not just for the bigger sites, but for the smaller sites. Um, and so what we're also doing is advocating on behalf of our customers. So we are involved in a whole bunch of different standards that hopefully we will get to a point where these crawlers will, uh, there is an agreed upon standard uh, for them to go identify themselves um, and so that we can know to let the good bots through and not the bad bots, um, but also, and also kind of let people know, well, hey, your bot is behaving badly and we're going to block it unless you do something. But also um, we can reach out on behalf of our customers to kind of communicate with the, um, the AI company. So there's that we're conduit for this uh, information to flow and the conduit for communication to happen. And we can go and implement these sort of and advocate for these standards on behalf of our customers.